YouTube, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and check out the new Showdown SBC card for Sergi Roberto. Sergi Roberto is an 89 rated card. He has high, high work rates, right footer with four star skill moves and five star weak foot. Now we don't see much versatility with the card as he can only play the center mid and center defensive mid positions. If we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is extremely well-rounded, man. He is Hullet Gang and the lowest stat that he does have is 83. He does have 86 pace with 82 acceleration and 89 sprint speed for a midfielder. That's pretty good, but honestly, I would recommend a chem style to make him even more quick. Now, as that box to box midfielder, the 83 shooting is going to be a very important stat. He does have really good attacking positioning at 89, 83 finishing, 84 shot power could be a little bit better. The 89 passing is going to be a very important stat for the card. He does have 91 vision, 91 crossing, and then also 91 short pass. His passing in game should be very accurate. Now, the 90 dribbling is going to be a very interesting stat to go ahead and test out in game. Keep in mind, he does have four star skill moves, 85 agility, 87 bounce, 88 reactions, 91 ball control as well he should be very quick and swift on the ball now as that box to box midfielder the 87 defending and 88 physical are going to be two really important stats to the card he does have 88 interceptions 86 defensive awareness and then also 88 stand tackle i think defensively he is going to be very good but honestly you can maybe give him the shadow to make it even better and then the 88 physical as you guys can see he does have 99 stamina which is huge for a box to box midfielder 85 strength and 81 aggression should be pretty strong on the ball as well now if we jump on over to football boys we can see that sergio roberto does have eight different play styles he has the incisive pass and press proven play style plus now i think for the most part those two play styles are actually pretty solid to have he does also have the ping pass long ball pass tiki taka intercept first touch and relentless so a lot of his play styles do revolve around his passing so you can definitely implement him as a playmaker in the middle of the pitch now he can have the mostly explosive controlled explosive and controlled acceleration types and when it comes to chem styles boys it's going to come down to how you do want to go ahead and incorporate him in game now the first chemistry style that you can go ahead and give the card is most definitely the anchor with the anchor he is going to have 90 pace with 86 acceleration and 93 sprint speed for a box to box midfielder i think that's really good and then most importantly we're going to help out with his defending and then also his physicality 92 defending and 93 physical i think defensively he should be very good now if you want him to maybe be a bit more of an attacking threat then you can potentially go ahead and give him the hunter i don't think a lot of people will give him the hunter but i don't know man if you want him to be a little bit better in and around the box you can definitely give him that and then last but not least boys if you really want to help out with his pace you can give him the shadow and then with the shadow he is going to have 94 pace with 90 acceleration and 90 seven sprint speed and then most importantly we're also going to bump up that defending it's going to give him 93 defending overall 96 interceptions 90 defensive awareness and then also 96 stand tackle so I think it's just a very well-rounded card. Whatever camp style you end up giving him, I think that he's going to be able to do everything really well. As always, boys, if you guys do enjoy these FC24 play reviews, go ahead and do me a huge favor. If you guys can, leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. This is a team we're going to be using in Division Rivals to test out the new Sergi Roberto card. We're going to be playing him as a box-to-box -box midfielder in the 4-3-2-1 formation. So without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number one of Division Rivals using the new Sergi Roberto card. I would be playing for champions, but there's a problem with champions at the moment. Mbappe, Mia, Ham, Timo, Werner. It's your standard OP team. But yeah, man, as you guys probably already know, the cost of the SPC is roughly 160,000 coins. It is an 86 and an 87 rated team. It is a little bit expensive, but he does have the potential of getting a plus two upgrade, which is a huge W. All right, boys, first things first, let's go ahead and test out the card's dribbling. Now on the ball, he does have some pretty good dribbling stats. I think it's like 83 agility, 87 balance, something like that. And the left stick dribbling isn't half bad. Okay, boys, that's not bad. That's not bad. Definitely uh, definitely incorporate that into his game. I'm actually going to maybe try to get him in behind, man. He does have really good attacking positioning at 89. Sergio Roberto. The pace is pretty good. You can give him the shadow if you want him to be a little bit more quick. It's honestly going to come down to your personal preference. Sergio Roberto, recovery speed. The recovery speed right there didn't feel too good, if I'm being completely honest. I feel like there was no way we were going to catch up to Son. Good pass right there into Athena. His passing is going to be a huge part to his game. Athena. Look for the cutback. Let's see if we maybe get a few more bodies forward. Socrates, that's good. We're moving the ball really well at the moment, Roberto. A little bit of left stick dribbling. I will say, man, on the ball, it's not half bad. His left stick dribbling has been pretty good. Color. Roberto, I'm going to maybe try to get him in like a little bit of space. Socrates, nice. Roberto. Oh, I tried to go for a power shot right there. It took him, honestly, forever to release the shot. Roberto, step over. Decent acceleration. I feel like the shadow might actually be the move. 
But that is a lovely pass, man. Going forward, we definitely need that. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number two. It's safe to say that game number one didn't last too long. We're coming up against an okay team. Keen, Viali, Henri, Salah, Beckham, Rosicki. But yeah, man, in that little that we used him in game number one, I do think that he's a very well-rounded player. It seems like he can do everything really well with the anchor camp style. But I think the standout stat for the card so far has most definitely been his passing, man. I think you can create a lot of chances with him. This guy's just dribbling right here. He's looking for that finesse shot with Mo Salah. I don't blame him. Roberto. Now, as a ball carrier, the pace right there isn't half bad. Good ball into Athena as well. Like I said, man, the passing probably the standout stat. Sergio Roberto. Let's go ahead and use the acceleration a little bit. He's, I mean, he's pretty quick. He's not the quickest of players I've ever used, but it's not bad. His finishing could be a little bit better, man. And that's why I think that if you want him to be a little bit more of an attacking threat, maybe give him the hunter. Roberto. Ooh, that's a nice touch right there. I like the acceleration. And I might try to get him in behind because his attacking position has been good. Sergio Roberto go around the goalkeeper. Decent dribbling. All right, man. So going forward, I just feel like the card is very well rounded, man. If he can get the plus two, man, and become a 91 rated card with the upgrades, I mean, for 160,000 coins, seems to be, it seems to be very good value. That's how he, that's a good block. Sergio Roberto carry the ball forward. Good touch. Okay, man. I think that the anchor is working really well with the card because that extra physicality is going a long way. He seems to be very strong on the ball. And I'm pretty sure he has 91 crossing as well. Could have been a lot better. Sergio Roberto, can we get to it? A little bit of manual defending right here. Complete to Salah. He wants it on his left foot. That's for sure. Roberto, good in the tackle, man. And with that extra physicality, I feel like we can hold off a lot of defenders as well. The over top through ball is good, man. So he wins possession for us. And then we spring into a counterattack. He just doesn't really have the pace, which is a tad bit unfortunate. Reese James. Athena. Roberto making a good run. I kind of want to maybe test out like another long shot. The pace right there is a little bit better. Cut back. Oh, boys. The passing with all the play styles that he does have revolving around his passing has been very accurate. Oh, Roberto, man. I love that, man. Good AI defending right there. Gets the interception. Oh, the gameplay is a little bit weird at the moment. Roberto. I feel like you, I feel like the versatility with the card is really good. Now, I know he can only play the center mid and center defensive mid positions. But you can honestly maybe incorporate him as a fullback, maybe as like a right mid in the 4-4-2. Now we do have a corner, and I'm actually going to go ahead and give the corner to Sergio Roberto because I maybe want to test out another long shot. Maybe a ball roll, Trivella. Good shake to it. Oh, I'm not going to lie, boys. I thought that went in, but that's a really good attempt. I think he has like 84 long shots, something like that. Nice drop at the shoulder right there. Up against Rosicki. The pace is pretty good. I feel like the pace is kind of hit and miss in some situations. The cross maybe could have been a little bit better. Alawira made a good run. Maybe go towards the middle. Nice, boys. Good defending right there. Got a little bit of space right now. He's tracking the run. Alawira moving the ball really well. Roberto near post. It's good defending, man. You can't lie, but the play right there was really nice. Reach James, Athena. Look at Roberto. He's onside, boys. We timed that perfectly. Good run again, man. The runs from the center mid position have been really consistent. Pace maybe could have been a little bit better. Left stick dribbling is nice though. Cut back. No one's really in support, man. No one really in support right there. I think the pace maybe could have been a little bit better. Pina. Nice, boys. Roberto's making that run. Play to him. One more. Uh, Wyron, finish. That's liquid football, man. That's like the Tiki Taka play style. Uh, Roberto's passing is very, very nice. I just feel like as a center mid, man, if you can get him into really good areas, he can create a lot of chances for you. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new showdown SBC Sergi Roberto in a few games of division rivals. And to be completely honest, man, a very well-rounded player in game. I think if you incorporate him as that box-to-box -box midfielder, I think for 150,000 coins and him having the potential of getting a plus two upgrade is a very good value SBC. Now, if we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we did go ahead and give him the anchor chem style so 86 acceleration and 93 sprint speed and honestly man i think his pace can be even better if i had to choose i'd probably go with the shadow chem style i think that extra bit of pace was really going to make the card even better in game the 83 shooting for the most part was an okay stat really good attacking positioning man he does pick up really good pockets of space the finishing shot power and long shots could be a little bit better if you want him to be more clinical you can give him the hunter the 89 passing i'm gonna go ahead and say was the standout stat for the card man with all of the different play styles that revolve around his passing it was very accurate 91 for his vision crossing and then also short pass man i 
think as a box to box midfielder you can create a lot of chances with him now the 90 dribbling was another very good stat for the card with his four star skill moves i will say he was quite quick and swift on the ball 85 agility 87 balance 88 reactions 91 ball control very well rounded right there as well now the 87 defending and 88 physical were two really important stats for the card because there is most definitely that defensive cover with the card 92 interceptions 90 defensive awareness and then also 96 stand tackle i think defensively he was very good he does also have the intercept play style so as that midfielder man he can break up the play and advance the ball forward really well and then last but not least boys and another huge part to his game his 88 physical the 99 stamina is huge for the card you can make so many runs with him and then with the anchor he does have 93 strength and 85 aggression and i will say that he was very strong on and off the ball overall boys i'm gonna go ahead and give the card like an 8.8 out of 10 rating i really enjoyed using him as a box-to-box -box midfielder as you guys know he does have the potential of getting a plus two upgrade if barcelona do end up beating psg and if he ends up becoming a 91 rated card for 150,000 coins that's basically a team of the season card with all the different upgrades with the card i think if you need a box-to-box -box midfielder that's more of like a playmaker i think the sergio roberto is a great option keep in mind boys there's just so many good players from barcelona this year a lot of people run rolfo a lot of people run claudia pina so it's very easy to get them on full chemistry as well and yeah man just like with mukiele i think that they are two very good value sbcs if you need a new midfielder i think that he's a great option but that is going to be the end of today's video man if you guys did enjoy it let me know by leaving a like comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video i've been your boy bullbat i'll catch you guys in another one very very soon peace